that shit's great. See, this is what we need to do. Oh, see, this is great. Look. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Okay. All right. You ready? Ready. Timer starting now. Hi. I'm Noelle. I'm Leslie. Hello. And we are Behind, Behind the games. games. And we're doing our first interview with Philip. And we didn't even have to threaten him that much. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So first off. Tell everybody what you do. Okay, my name is Philip Castilla. I am a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor and competitor. Okay, right. how long have you been doing that? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I've done for 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, so. Wow. Been, That's been a bit of time. time, yeah. It's like a relationship. It, it is, it is, but um, yeah, and it gets, yeah, it has its ups and downs for sure. It yeah. is like yeah. a relationship, yeah. see? Definitely. So, yeah. do it's you know very how, demanding. Do you know how many fights <laughs> you've been in? Uh, with my, yeah, with, yes, I would say with my coach, plenty, plenty. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, that's the other half of the jiu-jitsu relationship is your relationship with your coach. So, yeah. But like tournaments? Oh, yeah. Uh, gosh, uh, I've competed several times, maybe five or six times a year for the past eight years. So, oh, wow. Yeah, if you do the math. Wow. Yeah. So what is the difference between jiu-jitsu and like other martial arts? Yeah. Um, so, uh. Jiu-Jitsu is considered not something that's considered traditional martial arts. Okay. Uh, traditional martial arts will be like uh, Taekwondo, Karate, Kung Fu, things like that. Um, I started as a young young guy, 10 years old, in uh, a saw called Hong Sudo. It's just like Taekwondo. Um, very, very traditional. You go in, you bow, you do all your techniques uh, perfect. Yeah. You know, it looks uh, very um, very much like, a, like you're in the military. Okay. And uh, you know, that was fun. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And, really? Um, yeah, I did that uh, all the way till I got my secondary black belt in that style. Then I did Taekwondo, got a black belt from that. Wow. And, uh, you know, it was great, and I learned a lot of discipline and respect with that. Um, I do wish that I started in Jiu Jitsu much sooner. Um, so, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, like I said, is very untraditional. It's okay. considered untraditional. Wow. Um, yeah, it gets, it gets pretty crazy. So, um, you know, with traditional martial arts, there's not a lot of contact. And, um, you know, when we spar, when we kickbox against each other, um, and, you know, a lot of different styles, you will, if you just hit the person one time, the referee stops the fight, and they give you a point, and then you go back and you go again. So it's not very uh, realistic, I would right. say. Um, you can develop really good technique that way, but, um, but it's, not a, it's not a way you would want to defend yourself. Okay. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is polar opposite of that. It's... Um, you know, you get to grab your opponent, throw them on the ground, try to strangle them, try to basically so try to get them. on the ground. Yes, everything's on the ground. And you start from standing, so you got to try to take the person down, they try to take you down. And um, it's basically, it's a big game of playing uncle. So if you ever, you know, wrestle with your kids and get, try to get them to say uncle, try to get them to uh, to quit, that's what you're trying to do with your opponent. Right. Um, but, you know, they're literally trying to take their life, your life from you, and you're trying to take it's their crazy. life from them. My kind of sport. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been to a couple yeah. matches, and it's... It's intense. It's crazy. Yeah. And so, you know, when, when someone is choking me, if they're putting me in a, a chokehold. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so you're, you're okay with, like, tight spaces? Uh, well, you know, yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's a lot of jiu-jitsu guys that are very touchy-feely. Um, oh, just really? outside of the jiu-jitsu. Did you out? <laughs> I, I did at first, but now I kind of get it because we're so, um, you know, we get so comfortable you know, right. touching people and, and Save you know, that. hugging people. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I was saying, uh, you know, when someone's trying to strangle me and uh, and I have to tap out, I have to give up, it's uh, basically me saying that, um, that hey, you could have killed me right there. You know, I'm submitting to you. You know, you win. Right. And so a lot of guys have a lot of issues with that. You all, well, you can swallow your pride because yeah. otherwise you're just going to pass out, right? Yeah, yeah. You go unconscious. But back in your <laughs> early days of doing it, did you ever take it that far to just say no if it like choke me out uh, no no or were you the one being like I dare you to tap <laughs> yeah. yeah no no I definitely yeah. tapped on time I've uh, not been choked out in class before I've uh, accidentally choked friends out in class but uh, really? yeah. <laughs> so back in your younger days did you ever like get a bar fight or and use it or were you like one of those that you no know, I don't. Uh, yeah. I would think I'd be like a secret weapon. Like, yeah, for the most part. So, you? you know, when I did traditional okay. martial arts, and, you know, I was yeah. really, really young before my teen years, uh, being a martial artist wasn't necessarily a deterrent. Mm -hmm. It uh, kind of challenged other kids. You know, they're like, oh, you do karate? Okay, let me see. You know, right. like, I bet I could beat you. You look yeah. like someone I can beat up. So, mm -hmm. Unless you look like someone that can beat other people up, you're, right. you know. Mm -hmm. it's a, I think it's a misconception that being in martial arts will keep you out of fights. Now, right. it, 
it kept me out of fights as far as um, you know being smarter, trying to play not to get into the fight. It I was more fun. aware of when, yeah, <laughs> <You're one more. laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, no people wanted to challenge me a little bit more. I think right. when I was young. Right. So. That's good. <laughs> All right, so the, I had a question. Okay. Which was the question that you were going to ask me. I'm going to ask you now. Okay. It's all the matching and the close and everything, right? Oh, yeah, right? this is a great one. Yeah. Okay. What's your worst smell that you can... And it doesn't even have to be with matches, just in general. Worst yeah, smell. Yeah, the worst smell. And why? That you've smelled in your life. Yeah. Oh, uh, it would definitely be in matches. For yeah? Sure. Or just training in class, you know. If I was a guy, I would purposely probably not shower just because just, just to be gross. just be an asshole yeah, yeah. or yeah. shave <laughs> like yeah anything you so, get to so what happens, what happens? <laughs> yeah so there's something to say about that now in uh, some of the higher level tournaments if you smell really bad and your your uniform is not clean you can get disqualified really? yeah, that's yeah. probably a good thing oh yeah. wow you know that that rule is there for that reason right yeah. at some point in time somebody's yeah. like dude yeah. dude yeah. dude yeah, you're, <laughs> you're, like, no, you're not. yeah your uniform has to be clean you got to look sharp and, and yeah. uh, if not, then they'll say, hey, you got to change your uniform. You, you smell really bad. And yeah. They'll make you do Have that. you ever picked somebody out of class? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. For smelling bad? Yes, teenagers. Wow. Yeah. Well, that way with teenagers. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What is it with teenagers that don't want to wear deodorant? Like, they don't smell themselves. They don't want to do hygiene. Were you, like, a bad hygiene teenager? Yes, I was. Why? Okay, you <laughs> so, explain to me yeah. why. Yeah, so I would forget all the time. Why? And, um, How can you forget? You like, you like girls, right? And yeah, well, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> and that's what changed it for me. I remember, well, even if gosh. you like guys, I mean, you still want to smell good, but go ahead. Yeah. So there was this kid in sixth grade, and he had, I think he had failed two different grades. And anyways, he, he would sit in our classroom, and this kid would smell the whole classroom. Oh. It was horrible, horrible. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm like, God, why doesn't, you know, this kid just wear, you know, I remember his name, I'm not going to say it. You know, why doesn't the kid just wear deodorant? Like, he stinks so yeah. bad. And, um, you know, I, I, I during the time, like I said, I didn't smell that bad. But as I got a little bit old, you know, seventh grade, you know, a year yeah. later, um, I remember that I would forget all the time. I put deodorant on. You go to gym, you come back. and The bad was uh, me. I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was sitting between these two girls in my science class. And, uh, you know, one of the girls, I had just gotten back from gym, and I was sweaty. Yeah. And she's like, you smell like crotch. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! See, that's a yeah. girl thing to do. That's yeah. so yeah. what we would do. Uh, I just remember yeah. that yeah. that kid. I remember that kid that smelled real bad. I was like, oh, I never want to be that kid that yeah. smells like him. And, you know, it kind of changed then. But uh, I'm going through that with my kids right now. I'm like, you do not want to be this kid. Yeah. And it's my daughter, she constantly forgets to put on. I'm like, you don't want to be that kid. Mm -mm. Yeah. And she's like, I'm fine. I'm like, no, 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 honey, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I was raised by all women, so it wasn't like, uh, uh, and, and they were not in sports. Uh, yeah, we both go, oh. Yeah, so it wasn't like one of those things where it was, uh, you know, I watched, you know, a man put on deodorant every single day. Right. My mother never even thought about it, I guess. Right. But, uh, yeah, it so was. Olive, my daughter Olive, she trains with Philip. And she came home the that night and she was complaining. She was like, I just gotta take a shower. And she was like, I just smell so bad because of the other kids rolling around on there. I'm like, oh, that's so hard. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the word. So, you know, when we're training, you know, you know, sometimes you work out and your breath smells bad and right. then, you know, you're rubbing up against another guy or whoever it is and their, their uniform stinks from the day before. Right. And, you know, I, that's how I feel right now. I just got out of the sauna. You know, yeah. I just worked out. So I know my breath probably smells. You smell fine. You smell fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're not close enough yet. Oh, we were going to We're pretty blunt. Yeah. But, you know, then you're face to face with other people and they're breathing their, you know, onions they ate. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so. so with the pandemic going on, how has that affected your business? Uh -huh. Because jujitsu is very yeah. close. I mean, you're, yes. you're, you're yeah. in it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a bit controversial to even have a jiu-jitsu school open because yeah. you are literally touching each other. It's not, uh, you know, in traditional martial arts, you can do an entire class and never have right. any contact at all. Uh, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you have to, at some point, start doing contact. You yeah. have to grapple with someone else. You have to try to, you know, yeah. defend from them. They have to try to defend yeah. from you to get better. Um, you know, in the industry, martial arts has suffered really bad. Mm. Um, I can imagine. Yeah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has hit harder, I think, than any other martial art. Um, you know, I know schools right now that are shutting down, that are having to move. Uh, change locations just because they're doing so bad right now. Mm -hmm. um, my gym, you know, we were closed for a little bit and um, you know, we're located inside of a, a fitness facility. And once they reopened, yeah. we were able to come back and start having classes limited. Right. And, um, you know, it's a still bit, you know, it's a bit controversial, mm -hmm. but we're still doing okay. I think it's just our area. Mm -hmm. I know some schools, you know, being in Collin County, I think it's, you know, people are a little bit more comfortable up here for some reason. Right. Um, you know, down in Dallas, I know schools that are shutting down 
in the house area. They're not getting any enrollments, whereas I am. Yeah, you you have some good decent sized house, but it's they're not huge. Yeah, yeah. But the last huge. tournament we went to, it was really like the first one that they opened up for a while, and I had to leave because it was just so many people and nobody was wearing masks, and they only let so many people in. But it was she did like, send me pictures. Yeah, I, I just I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah, they're they're being pretty strict. Uh, so I mean, I, like the fans, not the actual fighters, but like yeah. there was just so many people, and it was just like this doesn't feel safe. But yeah, so if I'm sure you've been to the other ones where it's even yes. there's even more people yeah. before the pandemic, yeah. and um, at the last tournament that I competed in, um, I have my son, I have him full time, and you know it's just he and I, and um, he's eight years old, and I have to take him with me to the tournament, and you know I go there, and I'm yeah. you know I'm getting ready to to walk through the doors and like, hey, we don't allow children here. Oh my God. And I'm like, well, what do I do with them? Right. Send them outside? <laughs> you know, like, yeah. he can't I was like, well, he's gonna have to, you know, he's gonna have to go with his other parents, you know, with the other parent. I'm like, he doesn't have another parent. Um, so, you know, it's, that's it. He's a single dad. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm engaged, yeah. but I'm not, not that's available. That's true, that's true. Do not <laughs> start a war. I know, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I, I wound up sneaking him in the back. And, I think uh, he's not, my daughter into. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did, yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. I snuck all of them there, yeah. We didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were fine, you know, they, they came to themselves, so, and, and Rush did a good job of just sitting there and, and behaving for the most part, so. So I have a question, um, yeah, the, real, the real quick. Um, what do you do to prepare yourself for a match? Like, is there, like, nutrition-wise, do you have to, like, make a certain weight, or? Yeah, yeah, and so it, it varies. So there's two different kinds of tournaments I can do. I can do one where it's I face several opponents, mm -hmm. and and in that tournament I can um, it could be go ahead that's fine. That would be Leslie. <laughs> that would definitely be Leslie. Sorry. <laughs> well, sorry. It is raw. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So um, it could be a tournament where I have to weigh in the day of the tournament, and on those it's. Um, it changes the whole way that I diet and that I prepare for that match right. or for those matches uh, because I, I might weigh in and then five, 10 minutes later I'm competing. Right. And um, when it comes to weighing in, you sometimes have to get down to a certain weight class. In my case, I try to get, cut. Yeah. yeah, in my case, I got to get down uh, quite a bit of weight to get to where I feel comfortable competing. Right. And um, yeah, if it, the weight class that I compete in also depends on that type of tournament. So there's some tournaments I can weigh in the day before, and I've got 24 hours to replenish. Yeah. And uh, if I have 24 hours to replenish, I'll do a probably an unhealthy cut. I'll drop a lot of water weight and just, um, uh, um, you know, I'll probably lose another an additional five or six pounds than I normally would. Yeah. Uh, because I have more time to replenish. It's not like, like bodybuilding. We have to mm -hmm. cut water. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I've, I've seen, because you're an elite group, that, you know, you've had why we get to get there, they're like, hey, you wanna do this, you wanna do this, this tournament, you know, this, these people, and. Yeah, so. Like, that's for the moment, and you're like, oh, I didn't know I was competing today. Yeah, so there's some tournaments that are not at the highest level where they'll actually offer me a spot to compete if there's, right. you know, if they need an extra person. So you gotta be ready. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, it's sometimes it's a little bit better to compete in those because there's no pressure to win. Right. You know, like, oh yeah, it was, you know, they just told me 10 minutes ago I'm gonna compete, you know? Yeah. And I usually do better at those. Yeah. Uh, I usually do pretty well when I when you I You have to psych yourself up? Nah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I don't, yeah. So you don't follow any kind of certain special diet, it's more just... Well, well yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, so I do intermittent What's fasting. Going? Okay. And I, I do that five or six days a week right now. Uh, when it comes to tournament time, if it's one of the tournaments where I have to weigh in just before I compete, I get really militant with it. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll take it from a 16 hour fast sometimes to a 20 hour fast. Oh, wow. Um, maybe even done 24 hours. probably fast. helps you in the tournaments, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Uh, so I try to lose more weight naturally that way as opposed to just cutting the water weight. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've done pro matches where you have to, you have only one opponent and you get to weigh in. Yeah, that's hard. It, I like those sometimes, yeah. but yeah, there's a lot of pressure because everyone's watching you. You're right. on a stage and. You know, the whole crowd's there, your family comes, and you know, it's televised. And, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to win in front of everyone. You don't want to be the loser. So. All right, we're <laughs> we'll going to stop our first part of this interview, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you have to come back for part two. Mm -hmm. Do, do, don't, do. Do you want to stop yours? Yeah. Go ahead and try it.